Anyone noticed with this uh, earthquake that it's it's people are saying that it's going traveling uh, north northwest, which means it's not going east. It's not going out. It's actually going within. It's going towards the coast. Um, I'd be concerned if I live by the water that uh, you're gonna get hit by a bigger one. I would get out of there because uh, the one in Ridgecrest wasn't even a big fault line, but it's actually hitting that. And they said that one hasn't, and there's a volcano there, and that one hasn't erupted in a long time. And um, there's the ones up in, up north too that are uh, big, the big San Andreas Fault. And they said that one could blow everything apart if that one gets hit. And there have been little tiny ones on the San Andreas, little tiny baby ones. But if it gets any worse, the whole Bay Area is going to get wiped out. All the coastal cities are going to get wiped out. They're all going to get, there's going to be craters everywhere. There's going to be sinkholes everywhere. And people are going to get killed. Um, that's what people are saying, that you should have a, a bag, uh, a grab bag by your door to get out if you have to at the last minute. Um, so if you live on the coastal cities, I'd be concerned about the earthquakes. I mean, you're seeing them on the coast mostly. They're all hit the coast of Oregon and all that and um, there's just earthquakes everywhere you don't even know where to go and if you don't believe in God I'd say you better start believing him now because if you don't if something terrible happens it's not going to be good for you so you better start praying and staying away from Democrats because they're the ones who are stirring up all this evil and they're making the revelation in the Bible come true because people um, are buying into the devil and they're believing everything the devil says and they're buying into the get rich quick, quick crap and being perverted and stuff, selling their soul to the devil and wanting free stuff so that they could get everything they want now. And it's just it's stupid. And maybe in a way God's punishing us and he's making all these earthquakes happen. And people better start getting on their knees and praying that, that uh, maybe God will make these earthquakes stop. Because if we don't stop with our evil behavior in this world, it's not going to stop. If we pray and we pray to God, then it might change. Just look at the skulls they just found the other day in China. They're uh, Nephilim skulls, which means there's actually angels that came down and they made it with humans and made these hybrids. It's true. Look at those mounds. There's, they're everywhere. Look at, the, look at the ark. They found Noah's ark. Look at the Red Sea. They found the chariots in the Red Sea, but yet the uh, Jewish people don't want to believe that Jesus was the Messiah. He predicted all this stuff, and no one's listening. Everyone chooses to ignore when they see the signs. That's why the Smithsonian is hiding those uh, giant skulls, because um, they don't have the features and characteristics of a human skull. They have the characteristics of a hybrid that's not human, and it's of God. These are demons from above. These are hybrids, giants. So people need to really wake up and realize that God is really trying to shake things up. And they need to, uh, if, if you're not going to believe in God, that's up to you. If I were you, I would make sure I was prepared to get out of there and get to another place. And once I get to another place, I would start believing in God and studying up on it and praying for forgiveness and repenting everything I've done. And stay away from the evil ways and pray for others who are going going along with the devil and doing all these evil, nasty things that they shouldn't be doing. And you, everyone knows what those are. Just stop it.